It's his 18th start to see how he works with that fastball because it may seem subtle. Marte hits this a ton of center field. Charlie going back, and this one is gone. You know, the last time that he faced the Rockies was last year. This is in the air to shallow left. Dickerson coming, and he'll get there and make the catch. One, two, three for Tyone. Houston area kid. Down the line, that's a fair ball. Extra bases. Dickerson will throw it back in. It'll be a leadoff second inning double for Nolan. And it with the walk-off homer in the 14th inning. Not young every year. He was third. Strike three. And this is toward the hole and not through. Good sign. Chris recently he reached out to talk blisters. Well, on the third try, Chad gets down a perfect butt to advance Sionetta. Charlie swings through that pit. That's a line drive base hit. Ace is loaded one out. And this ball is well hit left center field. It's not going to drop, but it's going to get a run home as Dahl makes the catch. And scoring is Polanco. 2 0 Pittsburgh. This ball is well hit to center field by Mercer. And this one is. Three earned runs in any of his last 12 starts. Great two strike hitter all year. And that's just in a bat you want to forget about if you know. Next year, this is going to be a tough play and no play. And you got to go get the baseball, and Dickerson is going to end up at second. As uh, he's known to the Rockies organization, that is a base hit to center field. Dickerson around third will get a stop sign from Joey Cora. First and third, nobody out. Desire and the want. Polanco and that's going to find a hole and now it's six nothing and going first to third is Marte. This is line to a cargo and he lays that makes a great catch. Tagging and coming home is Marte. Swung out of this good pitch by Chad gets a strike out of him. This is pulled fair down that left field line Polanco is going to get a green light from Cora. Go to the play. Safe there. Moved the pitched in Milwaukee a few days ago and then he had a couple strikeouts trying to get back on track to. Right center field pretty well hit. And Dickerson strikes out against McGee. Two outs. There's a base hit for Charlie. Center field. That's a base hit. And Charlie. And stop at second. And this will be a hit. It'll go to the wall. It'll bring home at least one. Charlie will score. DJ around third. They're going to send him. And the throw to the play. Not going to get him. To a double cost. Lost yesterday, but Jordan Patterson hit his 20th home run of the season. Slowly hit to third. There's one, and there's two. Second double play that Ionet has hit it to. 5 4 3 on that turn. Dahl to third base. 2 1 to Desi. And that slider is hitting the air to right field. Caught out there by Polanco to end the. Big chopper to short. Mercer able to flip it in time to Josh Harrison to get one. Dickerson in left field will make the catch. And with Springs now, he's a dentist over there, but then she had the baby in Frisco, so my brother. Sister Law are up there, then the Van Gundy's up in Frisco, Colorado. Congratulations to all of you. That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. Really neat. I know they watch every game, so make sure I got that in, and congratulations. Everybody's healthy and happy. And this is a rarity. There's been six complete games this year at baseball. He said, We've seen some top shelf guys. He goes, Marquez doesn't have to take a back seat to any of them, stuff wise. It's all gone, one out. Get the first look to it, Chris Archer. He walked out. 
of the, of the ballpark last night. I happened to be coming right by the Pittsburgh locker room as Chris was walking out. So I ended up walking out to the bus with him. Just, what a wonderful, wonderful. This is in the air on that left field line. This is a tough spot. This is going to drop. And then they're going to play uh, kickball with it for a moment. No harm done. It's a bloop single for McMahon. Story to second, two on, one out. And this is popped up. Midfield fly rule. Two outs. And this is in the air to left field. Luplo's got it, and the Pirates have secured themselves a 10 to 2 victory at a complete game for Jamison. Tyone. He improves to nine and eight. Chad Bettis takes the loss. He is five and two. It's the uh, first complete game at Coors Field since John Gray in September of 16 beat the Padres. That was that night he struck out 16. It's the first nine inning complete game by a visitor at Coors Field since Clayton Kershaw in July of 2013. Again, just the seventh complete game this year by a National League pitcher. Is a thing of the past. 10 to 2, the final. After this timeout, join Jenny and the gang for the Toyota postgame show. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon.